most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. Well, we saw a little bit of everything today. We did, and we kind of saw the <laughs> ugly side of March after the month is really opened up on a mild uh -huh. note, but today was cold. It was very blustery, and on top of that, we had snow squalls. So just a reminder that we have this type of weather this time of the year. It just seems like we want to shut down winter at the end of February, but Mother Nature has other ideas, and snow showers still continue west over the mountains toward Altoona, even west of McConnellsburg at this hour. Still, some of these snow showers will work their way through at times, but I think most of the activity will be west of I-99 through the rest of the night. Now, Heading into tomorrow, this activity goes away. We actually see a huge break in the snow shower activity through tomorrow. More sunshine in the mix. So why are we getting so much wind even at this hour of night? The reason is we have low pressure moving out, high pressure moving in. We'll show you the map in a little bit, but a lot of our cameras are shaking. I had to try to find one that was steady. This one in Mannheim looking good, but all the cameras are shaking because we've had gusts over 40 miles per hour throughout parts of the day. Again, it may keep you up at night. Really, we're talking about average wind speeds, 10 to 20 miles per hour. So even gusts between 30 and 40 can really rattle the windows, also shake the trees, and we're hoping for minimal tree damage. But overall, so far, power outages have been kept to a minimum, which is good. Temperatures in the middle to upper 30s across the board, as cold as 31 over parts of, say, State College, Center County, in Daltuna, McConnellsburg, also chilly. But the winds are telling the story. This is average, by the way. So the airport, the 11 o'clock update came in at 30 miles per hour. That is really strong wind no matter what time of the year it is. So today's high never felt like 46 degrees because of the wind speeds. The low of 35, there wasn't much variation throughout the day thanks to all the cold air coming in. So our overnight forecast calling for temperatures that will stay in the low 30s. It's been hard to find numbers at or below 32 degrees. In fact, we hadn't done it at all during the month of March, so pretty impressive stuff. And then tomorrow back to sunshine, but still windy conditions. However, it's dry and we're no longer talking about snow squall. So now that this area of low pressure is moving out, high pressure is sliding in from the west. This is our weather for a good part of the week. After things have been so active, now this week looks a lot calmer after we get through tomorrow's wind. So again, clearing skies through tonight, heading through tomorrow during the day, a lot of sunshine. And notice those clouds don't return even through Tuesday. I think by Wednesday and especially Thursday, we see additional clouds. Chances for rain start to arrive late Thursday into Friday. I will wait and see how much rain that particular system brings us. Another chance of rain by the end of the weekend. But the headline is this temperatures in the middle to upper 60s by the middle part of the week, possibly hitting 70 Wednesday and Thursday. Jared, over to you.